Hai and Assalamualaikum to Seth Hakim My name is Muhammad Azmi bin Muhammad Helmi My partner name is Hasnu Hakim bin Hassan And Mazalia binti Muhammad Stofa And one more my partner name is Aina Madia binti Zakaria We are here to present about Fro Play Our title for this Fro Play is renowned with secondary friend So our situation right now in a coffee shop Okay, then let's begin Hi guys, hi Hakim and Mazalia and Aina Have you guys been waiting for too long time here? I'm sorry for my late By the way, how are you doing? I feel right now really happy because I can see you guys again at this time I really miss you guys so much problem. I'm fine. Me too. Uh, I'm always counting the days before we could meet like this. I miss you guys so much. Marzalia, how's about your study in UTEM right now since you are a fully online student in that university uh, which is studying from home after this uh, pandemic was existed? For me, it's really quite tough when we need to focus for many situations between our time for studies instead of our time for family. For example, my time certainly different after I just ended my school life because my timetable also changed. It's because we need to spend time worthy uh, without wasting it to the unnecessary things. Such as if I have done online classes for the whole days, I will take my time to find anything that I need to help my parents find since my other siblings but my other siblings live since too far from my home. That's why whatever the home chores uh, also put on me to handle. Oh I see. Can I ask you something? How about your tips to study effectively at home? Maybe you can share it with us. First and foremost, uh, I will follow each thing that was I put and arrange in my timetable so that I could get enough time. Therefore, my time uh, will not be wasted easily. Besides, uh, get a good night's sleep, also fix which is a uh, good at our great our great studies. Uh, students at all ages should uh, get at least eight hours of sleep every two nights. Uh, it's the best the best way to ensure that the brain is refreshed and ready to process all of the information during during meeting. It may be tempting to stay up late to uh, to train, but it's more beneficial to get enough to rest. So that I really control with this meeting. Moreover, at home I used to choose to have a designated study area, which means I prepared a comfort uh, study comfort study zone apart from the bed. For me, I try to reserve my bed for sleeping and avoid studying in it because it easily can make me take a, it easily can make me take a, a nap. Most importantly, I always keep my study space clean and organized so I can put more time into studying. Oh, sorry for my interruption, okay? Uh, don't you guys feel hungry? You guys want to eat or anything? How about let me order, okay? Uh, wait, yeah. I will call a waiter. Hello, waiter. Uh, do you want to take a menu? Oh, no, no, no. I think I know what you guys want to eat, okay? Uh, waiter, can we get one slice of red velvet cake? And one slice of chocolate cake? Uh, maybe two slices of strawberry cheesecake? For drink, we need two cup of cappuccino, two shot, and two ice americano, okay? Thank you. Okay, so let's begin our talk again. So Sorry for interrupting, because I feel really tough. 
How's about you, Hakim? For you, what is your best choice in study at university? Part time or full time, and why? I advise you to just continue study uh, by a full time study. Firstly, we will be able to achieve better results when studying full time. This is because we can concentrate on our academics. In addition, we need to work hard to achieve a success. As a result, we can work hard to be uh, on the dean list. Oh, wait, wait. Let me interrupt one more time. Our order has come. Wait, ah, okay. Now, this is cheesecake for you, Hakim, and strawberry cake for Mazalia, and chocolate cake. Do you want it, Aina? Of course. <laughs> okay, this is for you, and yeah, your train. Okay, uh, I want to ask you. Can I ask you, Hakim? Of course, of course. Why, why, why? Why is the thing that is important or thing that you want to bring that will give more function on you in the new university? What's the thing you can bring? Really, I agree uh, with your question, Hazmi. I also want to know it too. I think as a university student, we will uh, have to do many assignments. If we have a, a laptop computer, we can bring it everywhere and consequently do our work anytime and anywhere. Thus, we will not have to share the computer at the computer room with other students and we will be able to do our work more quickly and efficiently. If we have a laptop, we will be able to connect to the internet uh, this has two main advantages. At firstly, we can do a lot of research online. Okay. But my study part time, we can search for a part time job to earn some money. This is because during the part time studies, we will not have any classes or even that often. For instance, we can work part time in the restaurant, McDonald's, or can pay for our tuition fees, accommodation, books, and so on for the money we earn. Yes, but we can find a better job with a higher salary quicker after graduation rather than studying part-time. My reason for this is because our studies has a shorter duration of time to finish. They are the reason why we should continue our studies full-time. In my point of view, this gives greater benefit to our family and herself. Oh, yeah, I can. That's right. I agree. I very agree with your opinion. With the condition of our country right now, we have COVID-19, right? Or we call it as a coronavirus pandemic. It is quite difficult to get in and out or go anywhere, maybe a grocery or bookstore or library or any shopping mall like that. But in the university, it also will not allow students and lecturers to go out and enter the university area. Just like if we want to go to like class, we cannot. We just need to stay at our room or maybe our our dorm like that, right? So yeah, this is difficult. That was I agree with you. Oh yes, that's right. Uh, talking about the COVID nineteen pandemic, how is your learning process at the uh, university since you live in university and I live at home? Is your learning process face-to-face -face or online? Well, even though I live in university, my learning process stays online. This is because lecturers are not able to enter the university area. Yes, 
the Ministry of Higher Education has also issued a directive that the learning process could be conducted entirely online. Uh, yes, because if we study face to face, we need we hundred percent will be contact with the lecturer or our friend at the university. So that's why we study online. So just contact, but maybe using Microsoft Team or Webex or Google Meet or Classroom. So then we can we can reduce the we can reduce like from right now we have like 6000 people that have been in coronavirus pandemic then if we study online we can reduce it maybe 1000 less or maybe 2000 less then after we reduce it we can pro- we can go on with face to face more because yeah i prefer face to face more than online because it more easier to ask for asking the lecturer about maybe about question we don't know or maybe about anything else but yeah the pandemic come what we want to do just accept it okay you guys agree with me yes i fully agree with you Muhammad azmi Okay, now I want to ask you, Mazalia, can I ask you something? Oh my God. Yes, of course. Uh, you're staying at UTEM, right? Not at home, right? Yes, sir. I stay at the hostel. Okay, now I want to ask you about how's your day in UTEM with this maybe COVID pandemic? How's your day? You start, you maybe go eating at the cafeteria house type of buying it using cash or credit card or what can you tell us okay yes i can uh, firstly uh, i always go by my meals from uh, from morning to night i just buy at uh, cafeteria with my my feet and uh, sometimes we also uh, I mean not cooking, but just like we make a small cooking, yeah. Um, because I, I, I think uh, when we eat the same meals at the cafeteria, it's quite boring for me and my friends too. So we just uh, find the other solutions like uh, sometimes I also the, uh, order uh, some food from bread food or any uh, food deliveries yeah and uh, if i buy at the cafeteria i just use my card which is cashless yes. or for me okay thank you Hakim, how about you you like to play football right ah uh, yes i like very okay. very much then when the government say that we cannot play sport like football, rugby, tennis, badminton, just can jogging. How about you? What do you feel at your time if you can oh, play sport like that? Uh, I think it's a very bad, bad idea. Uh, every day I will with my friend will jogging at the round of your time because we cannot uh, make other activities like football and so on we can have a uh, three round only for the at the stadium jogging <laughs> and play some indoor outdoor gym at the outside of the stadium UTEM uh, sometimes we will uh, hiking at the mountain okay then I know you got any question to me or Hasno Akim or Mazalia? Maybe you can ask something? Well, okay. Uh, I want to ask you, uh, Hasmi. Uh, yes. Would you prefer um, online class or face to face? Okay, I already talked about it earlier. 
uh, for me lah but it's okay for me I prefer face to face because yeah online class many people on the meeting or Microsoft team maybe Webex just on and click in the attendance and sleep just like that for the online class but if we going to face to face class we must wake up and take a bath and then go to the class face to face with the lecturer so then we cannot sleep but online class yeah maybe some people just record the class and then sleep but for me it's not suitable lah because yeah we need to focus on that class we need to give 100% attention on that class so then we can maybe we can achieve our goal like yeah for me my goal is maybe in the dn list maybe but we need to prove it to ourselves to our parent and lecturer so yeah I prefer face to face class more than online class but for now in the pandemic it will be online class so then just go on with the flow follow the flow so then but we must to take it seriously because the online will be more difficult than face to face class okay did i answer your question haina ah oh, yes yes thank you Okay, thank you. Okay, how about we eat our food just now? We talk too much, then our food, you see, it melt. Our cake have been melt. Our drink, maybe not good as before. So let's eat first, okay? Yes, yes. Yeah. I'm still hungry. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm already done with my food. How about you guys? It tastes really good for me. Wow. Yes, for me too. It's really delicious. Yeah, me too. Okay. Uh. Okay, Hakim, do you have a question for Mazalia, Ainamade, or maybe for me? I think I have a question for you, Hakim. Okay. My question: uh, What uh, good study skill do you have for the study for at final exam that coming? At the next month. What do you mean by study skill or oh, maybe tips? Tips. Yes, yes, yes. Tips. Oh, my tip for final exam this sem. I for me there is no tips for me because if you want to score, you study. If you don't want to score, you go play. But if you ask for tips. Maybe I can give some. For me, for subject that very difficult, like maybe thermophilic or static or engineering material, we need to pay more attention. Just like we need to go on the past question or just. If you don't know something, just like for thermophilic, you do know, you do not know the question. You just go and WhatsApp or DM the lecturer about that question. Ask them, and then they will help you to make you feel more, make your knowledge more better like that. Yes. For me, the tip is you need to everything you want to do. Just ask the lecturer. Like you want to study about this, you want about that. Just because the lecturer have more knowledge than us. So in the university, it's not like school. School we not we must to study all the chapter. But in the university. The lecturer make the question, and the lecturer also will give the marks. So then you can ask the lecturer, maybe be good with the lecturer, so then can give you what chapter in, what chapter do not in in the final exam. So when you know the chapter in, you pay more attention on that chapter. So then you study that chapter, study, study, study until you understand it more carefully. If like other subject. 
like maybe engineering seminar or maybe OSHA occupational safety help application you just if you really think that subject is easy you just study but not 100% on that just study just input your knowledge more better so then if the question ask you about this about this you can answer it easily just like that for subject more hard than it you must pay more attention 100% focusedly on that subject and keep going so that your GPA or CGPA will stay your grade also will be good A A A yeah the tips is like that lah what I'm doing is like that okay do you understand okay Uh, did you uh, have any side income? Like you do a uh, more dropship uh, under uh, any companies? Oh no, my parents did not allow me to study, so I just follow my parents' instruction to focus my study. Oh, I see. Uh, wow. How about you, Hakim? Uh, I think I not have the business. I think I don't like uh, business because I don't like uh, business while studying because I want to focus for my studying at this university. Oh, okay. Um, Azmi, how about you? Uh, maybe for you, uh, if doing side income uh, while studying have uh, many advantages so what's about you? For me, is it okay to have side income like online business or maybe you sell your item in Shopee or everything like Instagram for me, it's okay for your side income but you need to balance it with your study not focus on the business and then you leave the study you must balance the situation if you like for me one more week is my final exam so i need to stop the business first not just stop like that just maybe slowly slowly that business and then more on the study if like the exam like two or three months so we just balance it when you have class you attend the class you leave the business aside first if you don't have class you just yeah get back on your track on the business so you need to balance it okay i really agree with you um so uh, i want to ask you guys if I just uh, have an idea to start my business uh, while studying but I'm really not sure it is quite working for me or not. How about your guys' uh, opinion for me? What your business is about? Uh, my business is about the cookies. Oh, for me, I think you must to work hard for your business because yeah in the university people can go out go everywhere and buy anything so you can just sell to them by using online maybe you just promote it in your instagram or whatsapp and then maybe if they like they will buy it from you but you must to do it more and more and more like creatively so then you can attract their attention just like that Okay, thank you. Okay, now who want to pay our eat? Let's me pay because I get the get the money from my parents. Mazalia, Aina, you want to pay for eat too? <laughs> okay, how about we share the money? Okay, you pay half, I pay half. Because okay. no we are men, 
we men and they are women so okay. we we can be a gentleman if we pay for them okay 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 bye bye thank you guys Okay, thank you, Akim. Thank you, Mazalia. Thank you, Aina. See you next time, okay? Bye. Okay, bye. bye.